Gothenburg, 1984. My name is Ord Solomon. I find codes, and then I crack them. It's what I do. And in just a week, Sweden will send mediators to the region to help negotiate a peace treaty. Critics have called into question Sweden's suitability as mediators, given our role as global exporters of weapons. Why didn't you just shut it off? Day one. All right. Um, welcome back to another episode of the Halloween 2015 special with Jez Halloween special 2015 with Jez the Smell. Um, <clears throat> this is the second game in the Nightmares bundle called The Samaritan Paradox. Now, it looks like a point-and-click adventure. The only thing I've noticed that I do not like about it is that it said it came out in 2014. I couldn't find an earlier date. Maybe it came out, was uh, re-brought out later. But um, there's only two resolutions, really tiny or full screen. And so I find it odd that a game from 2014 would only have two. Other than that, it looks pretty good. So we're going to see this game here. Check it out. I'm going to grab the telephone. Hello? I'm sorry that oh, you can't see the people. My face is in the way. Catch you staring dreamily out of the window, searching the perpetual overcast for cracks. Well, that's where the light gets in. <laughs> so, uh, had any time to look at the book I gave you? Oh, uh, not quite yet. Uh, don't you think it could help you take your thoughts off the ciphers and codes for a moment? Uh, sure, sure. It's by John M. Bergwall. You told me you like him. I liked him as a journalist. But as a writer of detective stories, uh, yeah, okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, just wanted to check on you, mate. Thanks, man. Everything's all right? Eating and sleeping and so on? Yes, yes, I am. Don't worry. Lunch Friday? Sure thing, Magnus. I'll talk to you later, okay? Click. We got some IKEA furniture. We got uh, Herbert. That tree doesn't offer much uh, interactive interactivity. Interactivity. Clock radio. IKEA furniture. Uh, I don't need any to do anything with the clock radio. Books. Don't need to do anything with the books. Don't need to do anything with the books. Bill. Don't need to pick it up. It's not going anywhere. Okay. New book. Graphics are nice. Uh, Magnus gave this to it to me yesterday, a novel by Jonathan Bergwall. Magnus is really considerate, but lacks good taste in literature. Now, the game does look good. Don't like the fact that there's only two resolution, there be one resolution in full screen, like I said, but, um, the game still looks really nice full screen. It was very difficult to record, though. I had to, um, fiddle around with it to make sure that it recorded properly, because I didn't want it to record only in the left-hand corner, like it usually does for, um, such small resolution games, even at full screen. He just wants me to read something non-cipher um, related, but he's picked a rather banal, is it banal? Uh, detective story. Banana detective story. Detect detective? New inventory added. Um, the book. Use last secret. Use last secret on last secret? Can't combine the last secret with the last secret. No! No, I want to use the last secret. On myself I can't how about here how about on the Ikea furniture I don't think I can use the last secret with the Ikea and furniture can I leave I don't think I can use the oh I need to sh okay there I right click door uh, I should at least take a look at the I tried to use it on myself use it on yourself can I use it here can I use it here maybe I can um Let's use it on the rent money. <laughs> I can't use it on the rent money. Okay, let's try here. Um, use it on the table. Use it on the furniture. Use it on the bookshelf. Put it on the bookshelf. Can't use it with the bookshelf. Use it on myself. Um, let's take a look. I right-clicked on it. Okay, next page. I'll just take a quick look. To my... Yeah. <laughs> 
Someone dropped something upstairs and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> to my daughter Sarah. Page three and it has the thing in it. There's something about the ISBN code. I should find out what it is before I look at the rest of the book. It's weird that it's there. That's strangely positioned. That is a very strangely positioned tag. New note added. ISBN 9086.99b104275. There's something odd about that tag. I should check it out. Okay, I did. All right. A code, perhaps? I think it is a code. Okay, let's, let's, um, 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 look at my thesis. Yeah, I wish I could sit down and uh, write, uh, the bloody thing. Unfortunately, I've, uh, lost the momentum completely. Okay. Um, let's look at the number code. There's a code 90, uh, 68, right in the beginning of the last novel, maybe addressed to Sarah herself. Uh, now how would one secretly communicate with Sarah? Um, close. Can I look at the book again? Uh, I'll right click on it, I forgot. Let's take a look. There's something about that code. I should find out what it is before I written, but I can't do anything else with it. I know it's strangely positioned, but I don't know what to do. Okay, um... Um, do I have a computer? Uh, I'm too eager to crack that code, then leave right now. How do I crack the code? Oh, oh, I'm... Arnold. I've been practicing my Arnold voice, and I'm very bad at it, but I tried. Um, there we go. The code book. This is what uh, remains after I threw out all my fiction. My library has been uh, accused of looking pretty dry, but I can't risk getting distracted. Um, this is, uh, let's see. Which one do I need? I'm just gonna click on them all! Oops. Maybe I can use the book with this? I can't look at any of the books. I want to stab myself in the face. Don't I need the code book? I spit all over my screen. Oh, I'm sure this game is good, but I'm so shit at it. <laughs> I'm so sad. The only book I can look at is chemistry. Where's the writings for these other books? I need this one. Can I use it on it? Hmm. I don't think I can use the last secret on the bookshelf. Maybe it's these books. Maybe it's not the books on the my. Maybe it's one of these books. No. How about one of these books? How about I just chuck the fucker out the window? Would you like if I just threw it out the fucking window? You piece of fucking shit. What time is it? Okay, I have to. <laughs> I have to take my medication every eight hours, so I just need to make sure. Um. Maybe it's with the newspaper? Uh, wait a second. It's an article about a famous journalist writer, Jonathan Bigwell's death. He killed himself some three months ago. That He would try to talk to her via the newspaper, probably. Or not. Funny, daughter is a chemist. Apparently she would talk- Oh, there we go. Now we can go here and do the chemistry book. Yeah. Let's see. What were the numbers? Oh. Alright, 
so we got 90. Mm. We got T8. TH 68 68 down here ER is it ER I can't read that uh, 99 8 oh that was 9 Okay, threesome! I'm done! Okay, um... Ten. Sorry I'm so slow. There's one. Forty-two. More. It's, there's one more. That should be the message. I wonder what it's supposed to imply. Maybe I should call Mangus and ask for advice. Maybe there's another book? Magnus speaking. Hey, uh, it's me again. Hey, mate. You know the bird wall book you gave me? Uh, the Last Secret? Yeah, you started reading it? I found a secret code right at the beginning. It seems to be addressed to Sarah Birdwall, his daughter. Jesus, you find codes everywhere, don't you? In my butt? I've already cracked this one. I believe it means there's one more. One more of what? Book? I have no idea. I see. You know what you should absolutely do? Just read it? Uh, no, but I'm sure you're about to tell me. You should contact Jonathan Bergwall's daughter and let her know that you've deciphered his message to her. No, no, I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't possibly do that. Besides, she probably already solved it. Then you could at least ask her what it means. This could give you a lot of inspiration for your essay. Come on, are you gonna rot away in that shadowy den? All yes. Your life? your life needs a new direction. Mate. No. Yeah, yeah, I know. You keep telling me. Excitement! Go outside, meet new people, get some brand new impressions. You sound exactly like my psychologist. My mom. You don't have one. You're far too stubborn. More like too broke. Pardon me. And you look her up and give her a call. Don't do it. I'll do it for you in a range of meetings. No. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Great. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, sure thing. See ya. I guess I'm really doing this. The game by Peter. I'm sorry if I couldn't pronounce that. Here's your coffee. Anything else? Uh, not for me. I'm good, thanks. One refill is included in the price. Uh, fine, thank you. So, uh, thanks for meeting me. I have a feeling I should be thanking you. So, you found a hidden message in the beginning of the last secret? Yes. And it means there's one more? As far as I can tell, yeah. That's quite amazing. Did you say you're some kind of cryptologist? Yeah, among other things. All right. Do you know what the message refers to? Yes, it confirms my suspicions. It means there's one more book, contrary to the popular belief that the last secret is the last thing he wrote. And it is Father's wish that I search for it and find it and read it. I believe it's the key to my inheritance. Really? What's in the book? I don't know for sure. But I'm afraid I can't do it. I, w I won't read it. It's a long story, really. This is a way for Father to impose his will after his death. As my punishment for not being interested in his career and his writing and his journalistic endeavors. He never gave me a dime when I grew up. He believed gifts corrupt. One of his many ideas about raising kids. There should be millions of chronos somewhere, hidden. I think the book will tell you how to find it. That's his plan, to force me through his book in order to get my inheritance. 
but I refuse to play alone. I just won't do it. Oh, so you won't try to find it then? Out of spite? To be honest, Ord, I'm a bit afraid too. Afraid of the book? Yeah, of what I might find in it. That's a shame. I would really like to read it. I would love to use this stuff in my PhD thesis. It's a great story. You know what? If you want to, you could help me. You could search for the book and read it, so I won't have to deal with it. If you succeed, we'll split the money. Really? That's... Th that's a very generous proposal, but I don't know if... Then it's a deal. Meet me in the Bergwall estate tomorrow. What have you got yourself into? Day two. So, here we are. Welcome to the Bergwall estate. It's a dull place, if you ask me. I rarely set foot here. Now only Signa, my mother, and Veronica, her nurse, live here. Anyway, when I was a child, father used to arrange treasure hunts. He'd leave clues around the house, each leading to another one, and in the end, there'd be candy or a present for me. I suspect he's arranged something similar now. I thought you said no gifts. Guess it's not a gift. I'll give it to you. And you think the book is hidden here in the house? I have no idea. He has a cabin on Fardo, out in the archipelago where he used to write. It could be there. In fact, it could be anywhere. I'll give you the key to the cabin. I'm sorry, I'm not being a butt. I'm staying at a friend's place today. I have to sort out some legal stuff surrounding father's death. If you have any questions about anything, I left the number by the phone. By the way, I've been telling people you're my boyfriend. That way you can move around here more freely. I'd rather you didn't tell people about the book or ask around about it. You're here to help me sort out the practicalities. Oh. Well, I'll act supportive. Bye. Alright, let's find the last novel. If there is, even is such a thing. New inventory added. A key and a letter. Um, I'm not making fun of the voice acting or anything. I thought it would be fun just to mouth the words because my webcam was in the corner and I wasn't going to sit there the whole time. Um, don't want to touch the fire. Yes, you do. You won't touch the fire, you piece of shit. Touch the fire. Horse figure. I have no reason to do anything with that. Okay, leave then. You fall down the stairs and you die. Most of the old photo albums here. Lots of pictures of Jonathan holding Sarah as a child. Let's go back into the living room. Take a look in there. Also, can I save? Um, is this save? Is this save? Um. <gasps> I think I saved. Um, okay. A little confused with the icons, honestly, but uh, it's just me. Goddess figure. Shouldn't really touch it. It looks like it breaks easily. I should call her. How you doing? <laughs> I know we just talked two seconds ago. I don't need to touch the painting. Go to the door then, you piece of shit. Fitch, fitch, fitch. Okay, feed the fish. Shouldn't disturb the fish, but I want to feed the fish. But I want to feed the fish. But I want to notice board. Most of the notes are pretty old. The most recent ones is a new. The most recent one is a newspaper clipping from half a year ago. Desk. It's this personal desk. It's empty except for a book. The book. Um, new inventory added. Book. Apparently, people find this very, uh, very boring book. What's the letter say? It's the last thing Jonathan sent Sarah before he died. It's, uh, it's a photograph with some text written on the back. Dear daughter, I hope you're well in Stockholm. Uh, you're not forgetting your family in here uh, in uh, Gothenburg, right? Remember the game we played when you were little? Wouldn't it be fun playing it again just for old uh, memory's sake? Your father. Something to do with that horse. 
Because the horse is facing the other way. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back into the other room and switch the horse around. Turn that horse the other way. Let's see if it could be of any use. Okay. Use it on the fire! Okay. We'll just keep take it with us then. Um... I don't think there's anything in here else in here I can do, so I'm gonna leave for now. Alright. Maybe I could put the horse on the pedestal. Horse's hoofs fit right into the four holes drilled into the surface. So that means this door's unlocked? Okay, it was probably It was probably locked before. I don't want to search through the cabinet without a reason. Hey, old lady. Hey, television set. Hey, Veronica. Hey, hey, piano. Hey, wedding photo. Okay, well, maybe maybe that opens something else? Uh, I can turn the horse clockwise, counterclockwise, or take the horse with me. What, what did that say? Uh, let's, let's, um, I should probably take the horse with me until I know what to do with more do with it. So I'm gonna take the horse with me. No, no. Take it. Okay. Sounded like the clockwork was reset when I removed the horse. Hmm. Maybe it's opening something. I can't see. In one of the rooms. Um, I'm gonna put the horse back on the pedestal. And keep it faced that way. And then go back into this room. And this wallpaper's atrocious. Um, and then go back in this room and see what's going on. Did anything happen? I don't see anything. Uh, nothing happened. But we're gonna leave the horse there for now. Of course, we'll probably need it for something else. But not at the moment. Can I go this way? Anymore? I think this is as far as I can go. Yeah, let's leave. I don't want to talk to the family right now. I want to go downstairs. Let's see what's going on down there. Let's go to the library. A globe. Cassette player. I don't have a cassette. Um, can take the compass. Magazines. Can't be bothered to read the whole magazine. Library. I'll just take a random book and have a quick look. A book on Egyptology and the pyramids, the only remaining of the seven wonders of the ancient world. There's nothing else special in this library but the compass and the globe. Or oh, the cassette thing, but I don't have a cassette tape. Okay. Well, let's go down here to the closet. I'm already wearing a jacket. Um, let's go downstairs to the cellar. I have no business in the basement. This is the house? Wow, there's not very many rooms. Okay, well, I guess I'm going back into this room to talk to them. Because it's the only other fucking room there is. Hey, old lady. Hello, Sonny! Signy? She's completely... Uh, she's dead! She did. Hey, Veronica. Hello there. Hi! Hi! You must be Veronica. Uh, can I ask you something about all right I have to go? You must be Veronica. You must be Veronica. That's me, and you must be Ord, Sarah's boyfriend. Indeed, uh, nice to meet you. Yes, nice to finally meet you. Well, it's great that Sarah has someone to support her through this. Even though I she's not here and you're by yourself. Days, but I really like her. Smart and strong-willed. You'd better hold on to her. Yes, I had. Hadn't I? Until I'm done helping her, that is. I reckon her boyfriend would be more of a... Yes? Jock, I guess. A go-getter kind of person. You're pleasantly laid back. Thanks. I he guess. says I'm not a jock. So you're spending a lot of time here? So, you spend a lot of time here? You could say that. Wait, is that the Especially Doctor Who mailbox in the back there? I mean, um, phone box? 
I was nursing him a whole lot too, frankly. Oh, he was. It's another house, but it Sarah looks like the. Her father yet? Well, she will. He was getting more absent-minded by the day, like an old professor. Like a nutty professor. Like care of him too. They pay me well and treat me like family. All right, I gotta go. All right, I have to go. Nice to meet you, Ord. Come back and chat whenever you feel like it. This job is getting increasingly unsocial. I will. Oh, and don't worry, by the way. I can keep a secret. Oh, uh, thanks. Good. I'm scared. What's on the television? Um, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Okay, I took a mini fan. Don't need it. Portraits. It's not really time to play. There's not much uh, expect to play records. Wedding photo. I don't want to ask her any questions on because I wasn't asked to to do any of that. So um, I was asked not to do any of that. So I don't want to. Excuse me, uh, Signy. Um, how about if I blow this fan in her face? Oh, I have to plug it in. Well, damn. Well, this has been Jezdemel, and I've been playing. Um, I have to look it up again because I can't remember names. The Samaritan Paradox. Um, Samaritan Paradox. This game looks very interesting. Um, like I said at the beginning, other than the uh, resolution issue, uh, the game looks pretty good. It's pretty... It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. There's no hand-holding apparently in it. And um, some people complained about the voice acting, but the voice acting's not that bad. Um, if you want to see more, again, let me know. Um, if you want to get it, you should pick it up in the next six days. Um, thank you very much for watching. Actually, five days. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again for another Halloween special 2015. Bye.